So we're going to start with verse 6. So then, you, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him. So Paul has said this a few times. Um, he says it kind of like in all his letters. There's just this constant, like, stay faithful, continue in God, don't stray. And why would he say this so many times? Um, because it's human nature. It's human nature to walk away. Because um, we can know the truth. We can like witness a miracle and have tangible evidence of the truth. And we can still decide not to partner with the truth. So, for instance, um, I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> and Starbucks is like, we have peppermint mochas. And I'm like, that sounds nice. And I'm going to order it with cow's milk because alternative milks gross me out. And so then I hurt the rest of, you know, the day. And so I know the truth. I know the truth is like, this is not going to be good for me. But I'm also like, I don't really care in this moment. And I'm going to not follow it. Um, a, a harsher reality is that I know that my phone is like the root of a lot of my anxiety and like depression that I have dealt with over the years. Um, and if I did not spend as much time on my phone, I would probably achieve a lot more in life. Um, and if I didn't have a smartphone at all, I could probably do just a lot more. But I know that's the truth. There's scientific studies on it. Um, but that truth is really hard to take action on because my life has been rooted around this source of connection over the past few years with COVID. Um, and it is hard to pull myself away from that, even when I know the truth is it would be better for me. So the truth is, as humans, we struggle to unite the truth um, unite with the truth to pursue who we are called to be. And that's why Paul is always saying this, because it's not new. Um, this struggle to do what we're supposed to do when we know the truth has been around forever. So we shouldn't try to fool ourselves into thinking that we can't be persuaded away from the truth, that just because we've proclaimed it once means we've got it forever, because we can be persuaded away. So Paul says to be rooted and remain in Christ because he knows that we can have a transformational moment in Christ and yet still lose sight of what it looks like to live with Christ and cling to his truth. Brings us to verse 7. Rooted and built up in him, strengthened in faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. A really obvious fruit of being grounded in Christ is thankfulness. So how do we get there? What does it look like to be built up and strengthened? Um, it's actually an obvious Sunday school answer. <laughs> Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, grow, grow. I've been singing that since I was like two, <laughs> so I remember it. But if, um, if we're not doing that, how do you know the person of God? Like, that's just the reality, is if you're not reading your Bible, you're not praying, um, you, don't, you don't live a life rooted in Jesus, and you're probably living a life that's rooted in the community around you instead. And so um, if you are unfamiliar with how to read the Bible or not sure where to start, um, especially when we're talking about being rooted in, in God and Jesus, I'd say start with the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, um, or a lot of the letters Paul writes. They're, you know, the good and the bad and the ugly of um, who Christians were at the time and who we still are today. And so it's so important to read those things and know Jesus because without that, we're not really rooted in him. We're rooted in um, usually organized religion or our relationships. Um, another way to be rooted is to pray um, for your faith and your strength, which sounds funny. You're like, I should just have faith. Um, but that's something I pray for all the time. Like, God, would you grow my faith? God, I'm not being faithful right now. I'm struggling with faith in this moment. Can you help me? Um, and on the other side of that, being in community. There's nothing wrong with being in church. It's a really essential part of this, but being in a community with people who pray for you and your faith and hold you accountable. It's increasingly popular to say, I like God or I like the idea of God, but I actually don't like the church and I hate Christians and I just don't want anything to do with that. And I see where the hurt comes from and I've experienced church hurt um, and I have seen a lot of lives ruined from people in the church um, I think it's human nature, again, to be upset with people. Um, my mom knows because she found this letter when I was little. Um, but when I was like in fourth or fifth grade, I wrote the angstiest letter of my life. And I grew up in church, and I was really upset at my siblings and my friends, and I moved a lot. And so there was just a lot of, like, abandonment issues of, like, I can't trust anyone. And I wrote this letter that was like, God, I hate 
people and I never want to have to make a friend again and like if you're so good why can't I just be friends with you and no one else ever I just hate people and then um, I was a hoarder and my mom was helping me clean my room and she found it <laughs> and so um so we had a good talk about people and redemption and forgiveness. Um, but what's the outcome of this withdrawal that we're all tempted to? Like, it's hard to be in relationship with people. When we withdraw from people in the community that God has placed us in, we lose accountability of um, our, our life and our theology and actually what we really believe because we're not able to communicate it out with people and we just start to make our own assumptions. Like when I wrote the sermon and I wrote a bunch of rants about what I thought and then had to go back and read it and talk to someone else who knew about it. So without community, which God has built us to be a part of, we can't fully know God because we're left to our own devices and assumptions. Hey, thanks for checking out our YouTube video today. We appreciate you taking the time to tune in with us. Before you take off, please hit the like button. And if you want more of this content and you want to be notified when we put out new videos, hit the subscribe button and the little bell for notifications right next to it. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.